In the city of Chicago, on one cold, dark night, a blizzard was setting in, and a little boy was selling papers on the corner. The people were passing him by, trying to get home and out of the cold. And it was so cold, and he wasn't selling any papers, so he went up to a policeman and said, Sir, you wouldn't happen to know where a poor boy could get a warm place to sleep tonight, would you? You see, I sleep in a box around the corner, just down the alley, and it gets awful cold in there at night. It sure would be nice to have a warm place to stay. The policeman looked down at the little boy and said, just go down the street to that big white house and knock on the door. When they come to the door, say John 3:16, and they'll let you in. So he did like he was told and went up and knocked on the door and a lady answered the door and he looked up and said, John 3:16, and she smiled and said, come on in son. And she took him and set him down in an old split bottom rocker in front of a big old fireplace. And then she went away. As he sat there a while, he wondered to himself, John 3.16, I don't understand it, but it sure does make a cold boy warm. Later she came back and asked him, son, are you hungry? And he said, well, just a little. I haven't eaten in a couple of days. I guess I could stand a bite to eat. So she took him into the kitchen and she set him down at a table full of wonderful food. He ate until he couldn't eat anymore. And he sat there wondering to himself, John 3.16, I still can't understand it, but it sure makes a hungry boy full. Then she took him upstairs to a bathroom with a big old bathtub filled with warm water. As he soaked, he thought to himself, John 3.16, I don't understand it, but it sure makes a dirty boy clean. You know, I never had a bath, not a real one. The only bath I ever had was when I stood in front of an old fire hydrant and they flushed it out. The lady came and got him and took him to a room and tucked him into a big old feather bed. And she pulled the covers up around his neck and kissed him goodnight. And then she turned out the lights. As he laid there in the darkness and looked out the window at the snow coming down on that cold night, he thought to himself, John 3.16, I just can't understand it, but it sure does make a tired boy feel rested. The next morning she came back up and took him down to that same big table full of food. And after he had eaten, she sat down with the family Bible. And she said, son, do you understand John 3.16? And he said, no ma'am, I don't. The very first time I ever heard it was last night when the policeman told me to use it. So she opened the Bible to John 3.16 and began to tell him about Jesus. And right then and there, next to that big old fireplace, he gave his heart and his life to Jesus. And as he sat there, he thought to himself, my, my, John 3, 16. I don't understand it, but it sure does make a lost boy feel safe. You know, I have to confess, I don't understand it either, how God would be willing to send his son to die for me, or how Jesus would be willing to do such a thing. I don't understand it either but it sure does make a life worth living.